Hello everyone, I'm Bob. Uh, uh, today I will uh, share with you this lecture about the product action. Uh, I am from Fibros Technical Community and also I am the uh, technology judges of this lecture. Uh, first, I will introduce myself a little. I am a, a full time uh, blockchain developer and uh, I mainly write uh, Rust, Golang, and uh, TypeScript. Uh, uh, this workshop is about a uh, way token, a liquid defined palette. Then I will introduce a little about uh, the byproduct uh, parachain. As you can see the picture, uh, Bifrost is uh, a parachain. Uh, it is connected to the product uh, relay chain. Uh, you can, if you are familiar with the Ethereum ecosystem, you can think of Bifrost uh, like uh, Uniswap, uh, Bifrost component, and uh, other sex in Ethereum ecosystem. Whole system. Backfrost is a, a, a web chain derivative protocol that provides decentralized cross chain liquidity for select access. Uh, both of you can see the highlight keywords about a uh, Backfrost. Yeah. Uh, you can simple, simply think of of Bifrost uh, as a super defined directive parachain in portal ecosystem. Bifrost's uh, main mission is to provide a standardized cross-chain interest bearing directive for product related chains, parachains, and uh, other chains brands with the product. Furthermore, by aggregating over 80% of post consensus chains leaking liquidity through cross chain directives, our protocol lowers users' staking threshold, increases its multi chain staking rate, and uh, improves the ecosystem application interest and base by creating a three way positive cycle for the stake file ecosystem by empowering users, multi chains, and the ecosystem applications. Bifrost has raised over 2 million USD from top tier venture capital firms by like NGC, SNC, DFG, CMS, and other institutions. In addition to being uh, an earlier receiver of a Web3 Foundation grant, Bifrost is also a member of the Substrate Builders Program and the Web3 Bootcamp. So this is a preview of our super Bifrost DF. You can see uh, we have a lot of law of DeFi parallel now, uh, like uh, we crown loan, we seeking for farming and uh, swap, and also we are uh, working hard on uh, other country assets like Bitcoin uh, and other uh, parallel chain access. Then uh, I will talk more about the bounty. I think uh, the most developer will more like to uh, know about the bounty details. Okay, I will record it. I think uh, I will uh, 
I, I don't know the permission to help you. So I recorded myself, okay? This is the Bifrost Fontes uh, homepage. Uh, you can uh, see the readme uh, for some introduction. Then you can see how to get involved. Now there are two works of you can see. Uh, the first one is uh, I will talk about today. Uh, the first bounty is about uh, we token chains, yeah, the aggregator uh, landing platform. Uh, then the challenge is about, uh, you know, there are many uh, tokens like uh, native token and the uh, cross-chain way tokens on the Bifrost version. Uh, they are already uh, farming, staking, test photos now on Bifrost. We are glad to see more DeFi devices with the tokens interactive on um, Bifrost. So I will list some expressions you can do, like uh, AM and exchange, with token exchange tax, landing market, yield aggregator, option directives, creative, uh, seeking directive, liquidity, and so on. You can also, uh, make some more uh, creative ideas yourself. Yeah, this, uh, these are just some experiments. Uh, then I will talk about the uh, submission requirements. Uh, first, uh, the your DApp must be related to our Bifrost ecosystem, such as the token exchange, uh, pilot call interaction, or uh, built with our Bifrost SDKs. Then you should uh, uh, put your, your GitHub repo link. Uh, you can just uh, comment it uh, here. Yeah. Then we will uh, see your comment as soon as possible. <coughs> uh, the, uh, uh, the project must be open source. Yeah. Uh, you, you should uh, leave uh, your team introduction in your readme of the GitHub repo. Uh, when, when you finish your work, you should uh, make a, a video introduction about your submission. Uh, you can upload it to YouTube, Bitbili, or uh, anywhere else. Uh, the video should be public to everyone. Yeah. Uh, the judging uh, criteria. Uh, first, uh, the technical implementation is uh, that uh, you should uh, test uh, uh, fully. Yeah, and uh, I hope that you should uh, build a pilot and uh, with uh, your your yeah funded. Yes. Uh, and uh, we also will think about the financial impact on our Bifrost exchange. Yeah, th this is also very important. Uh, and then the uh, quality of your idea. Uh, if we, you have a very creative idea about the token liquidity, uh, it will also been a, a high score, yeah. The total bounty is uh, at most uh, uh, $10. Dollars. Um, I will pay you in BNC, our native token. Yeah, it's in, in the main night. Uh, what you, you will gain in this workshop? I think uh, you will strengthen your subject frame coding skills, yeah. And uh, then, 
uh, you will support our uh, Bifrost team through this session. And uh, then I think you you can optionally apply to, for a uh, treasury grant after us. Uh, you should uh, uh, concern the submission deadline is uh, July 11, yeah. Before that, uh, you, uh, if you finish your work, you can uh, comment it here, and uh, then we will review your financial work. Uh, then as, uh, uh, I will also give you some more uh, coding tips. Uh, first, uh, when you do the workshop, you must uh, uh, know how to build our backfrost uh, substrate node. Uh, first, uh, get clone our repo, and uh, then uh, change our directory to the repo code. Uh, you can uh, get some more build help uses with make or make help. And the last uh, you can make with uh, this target. Uh, we mainly test our uh, pilot and uh, the train node with the Kusama relation. Uh, we so uh, if you test your pilot, you can use the Kusama runtime. Uh, then uh, when you test your pilot, you can with, uh, test it with subject pilot unit test, or with the uh, product JS from it. Yeah. Tips two, uh, I think uh, you should uh, uh, Sorry, let him in. Oh, tips two. Uh, okay. Uh, just uh, like this. Tips two. Uh, I think you will uh, use another palette in your palette. Uh, so I write a tip about uh, the code. Uh, you can write the code link from here. Uh, if you want to call another pilot, you can uh, define your uh, pilot type in your pilot. Uh, as we all know, uh, in substrate runtime, uh, every type uh, is a trait. Uh, so you can uh, implement the trip, uh, the tab uh, in this in the runtime uh, like this. Uh, the code snips is in the uh, subject node. Uh, tip three, uh, you will also need the. Uh, to curate the stories of another pilot. Uh, so I I have a, a code an example here. Um, first, uh, you should uh, define the stories check in your pilot <coughs> uh, like this. Uh, the stories interface the value and the uh, read uh, and write method. And second step, uh, implement the trait in the service pairs uh, like this. Uh, uh, just uh, implement the, uh, I, uh, this is a very simple uh, code example. So uh, yeah, as you can see, just uh, implement the, the simple uh, implementation. Uh, the story type is uh, uh, defined also also added story type in your own pilot. Uh, you can see the value type and uh, your stories type. 
and then you can use the stories in your pilot mode. Uh, this is the last step. Yeah, uh, you can uh, use the stories uh, method in your dispatchable code in your pilot. Um, that's all about all my lecture about the workshop. Uh, any anyone have any questions? You can ask me now. Uh, 